The race for governor in California is this hour's top news story. With three days left before primary elections, most polls show frontrunner John Wallace beating either Henderson Mayor Jim Gibson or State Senator Dina Titus by more than 10 points. Wallace has been the target of everyone's... You're up by 10 points. John, are you listening to me? Hmm. You've got two television interviews tomorrow. We're meeting with Julie and her husband Thomas tomorrow afternoon for lunch. Why? Because the Stantons gave a lot of money to your campaign. I can't meet with them tomorrow. Remember, your interviews are back to back. I can't meet with anybody tomorrow. What do you want me to say to him, John? I don't care. I just can't talk with anyone right now. I need time. We don't have time. The election is three days away and things change in a heartbeat. I know. All right, look, I will speak to the Stantons, but I promise you if we cancel, they're not gonna pay for the new ads. How much are the ads? 200,000 each. Well, can we split it with Raymond? I'll talk to him. Do you think we need more ads? Oh, honey, we are so close to getting what we want. We need all the publicity we can get right now. Grab the bicycle. I don't know about this, Abby. Just grab it. John, grab the bicycle. What do you want me to do with this? Just toss it. Help me with this. Grab the feet. Abby. Shovel. Got the shovel. Okay. Watch your head. Good. Are you sure this place is safe, Abby? Oh, John, we're about 20 miles from the main road. these buses and trucks doing here anyway? Oh, this is a place where people get rid of things they don't want anymore. Listen. Everything has been taken care of. Nobody is going to find anything out here. We are in the middle of the desert. It's Raymond. What time is it? It's five o'clock already. We're gonna miss the fundraising dinner. Fuck, Abby. How can I? I didn't know this was gonna take this long. John answered the phone. It was your idea. You answer it. Hey, Raymond. I'm afraid we're not gonna be able to make it this evening. I'm not really feeling very well and I, I think I'm coming down with something. John is driving me home right now. Mm hmm No, 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 no. No, thank you. I, don't send a car, we don't need, I'm gonna be fine. Yeah. Okay. Abby. What? Abby. Ray, could you just hold on for a second, please? What?
Raymond, I'm gonna need to call you back. You told me she was dead. She wasn't breathing. I, I thought she... My God. My God. This is all your fault. You're the one who hit her. I got a call for help. Give me the phone. What are you doing? It's over, Abby! Let's just think about this for a second. Let's... Let's just take a deep breath and let's not do anything that we would regret. Now, do you remember what we talked about in the alley? You gave me that goddamn phone. I should never let you fucking talk me into this. Now, you listen to me. The election is three days away, and this could ruin everything that we have worked for. I don't care. You better care, because what you do affects my life. All these years that I've stood by you, and I have waited for this moment, and now the dream is three days away, and you just want to throw it all away? You hit a little girl. Mm -hmm. You hit a little girl, you brought her to the desert to bury her, and now you want to help her. Do you think anybody is going to vote for you? So what do you want to do?